Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you how to force a firmware update upon your drone when it's acting badly um, or hard boot. Um, I was doing a firmware update um, on my drones and this one right here it's a uh, Phantom 3 Professional uh, and it's a little number two right here on it. It's my number two drone and uh, number two was being a little shit. Um, all the other drones uh, loaded the, the firmware update just fine, but this one, um, when I went to start it up, I was having a problem of the red lights were flashing in the front, and I was just getting the constant yellow flash here in the back. And although it was connected to my DJI Go app and to my transmitter, I wasn't getting all the telemetry correctly. Plus my picture was kind of pixelated and I kept flashing no signal. And although I could see like what my battery was doing, whatever, I couldn't set any of my parameters for like my camera or um, like my return to home altitude or anything. So there was definitely a problem. Um, and I tried to reload it a few times and boy, it was frustrating just trying to do it over the air by, you know, using the app. And I finally switched to uh, using an SD card um, and trying to do it more manually. And I even went to the links of hooking it up through a USB cable um, and trying to do it that way, you know, through the USB port right here. And I just couldn't get the thing to start loading the firmware. So I'm going to show you today how I fix this and I don't recommend doing this unless it's the last resort and I'm pretty sure this will work with all the threes and with the fours. It'll work with the four and the four pro. Um, but like I said, I don't recommend doing this unless it's like your last resort because I don't think it's too good for it. But you know, if you've dealt with DGI online help, it's kind of frustrating. So you're going to need a little micro SD card and you're going to need like the little adapter to put into your laptop um, or your desktop computer and what you need to do is and you don't need to have your controller on or anything for this um, you can just put that aside and turn your drone off make sure you have a good battery in it that isn't low on power so i made sure i put a full battery in it and what i did was is i took this micro sd card I put it on my laptop and I formatted it. And the reason why I formatted it was to make sure that I had everything off of it. Now you can take a micro SD card and dump files off of it and delete them all day long, but you're going to find ghost files on there. You want to have a clean card, so make sure you format the card. And then what you're going to want to do is go to DJI's official site, go find the drone that you have, go to support, go to downloads, find the latest firmware, and you will find it in a... Um, It'll be in the form of a zip file. Um, and you're gonna wanna download that, but onto your computer, not onto this micro SD card. You're gonna wanna just download it into a file on your computer and wait till it's done downloading and then open it. Because you don't want the zip file put on here, you want the bin file, the B-I-N file. So what you do is you take that, open it up and then take it and drag it over your little SD card thing on your computer and load the bin file clean with the latest firmware onto the SD card. Then you're going to want to take your SD card and insert it into, you know, insert it into your gimbal. I'm not going to actually do this and mess with it because I finally got this thing working right and I ain't going to play with it. Then get yourself a little pokey tool. I was using just a little paper clip. And once you put the SD card in with the latest firmware, you're going to want to take this paper clip and push the little hole right there. There's a little hole next to the little red and green light that flashes right here. The thing to use to bind your copter to your transmitter. You push and hold that in and then you double push your button and turn your battery on. And after it turns on, I held this in there for about 10 seconds and when I let it go. This thing finally went beep, beep, beep. The light started flashing, whatever. And the only thing I can tell you after that is make sure that firmware is done loading. I mean, give it a good 20 minutes. Uh, because even when the lights turned green and did all this other stuff, the beeping kept changing and the beep will go from beep, beep, beep to beep, beep. And everybody tells you about different beeps. I waited for like 20 minutes and finally I took the SD card out 
and I put it back into the adapter, back into my laptop, and I opened it up, and I could see that there were new files written on it, and I opened up those files, and they're files of code, and at the bottom of the code files, it'll say successful, and that way you know that it uploaded, you know, and, and updated successfully. I then turned off my uh, quadcopter and restarted it, fired everything up, and then everything worked correctly. And this is really important when you're done doing this, and really when you're done doing any firmware update, um, check all of your settings in your DJI Go app or your Leechy app or whatever it is you're flying. Make sure all of your settings are correct because it'll change a lot of things. You know, your return to home, your max distance, your max altitude. Make sure that you calibrate your compass and the most important thing is to put your drone on a level surface and let it do an IMU calibration because all my camera settings were screwed up. My gimbal settings were screwed up after that firmware update. And like I said, I had done four drones and this little bad thing right here was just pissing me off. And boy, you get frustrated when you try loading firmware and it just keeps failing. So anyway, I hope that this helps somebody out there that's just grounded and can't fly with a drone and it's really pissing them off. Because if you call up DGI and you email them or whatever, they're gonna just keep telling you if you got signal loss or something to keep pushing the button and do a rebind process. Um, and I don't think they even recommend doing a hard boot like this to force it to do, but um, this quadcopter seems to be perfect. Everything on it, I've checked it and checked it because now I'm kind of worried about it, but everything on it seems to be working really well. And um, anyway, like I said, I hope this helps you out if you've got something that's just sitting there and beeping at you and doing nothing and getting frustrating. And I know that yesterday I was right to the level of just wanting to take this thing and smash it. So anyway, um, you guys all fly safe, fly responsibly out there. And I hope this helps you out and I will catch you later. Thanks.